Hey you guys, Pokemon fan here. And today we're going to do something a little bit different. I was able to purchase... You can hear my game pigs in the background, they're squeaking. But anyways, I was able to purchase a Pokemon base set off of eBay for a really cheap price. The guy that I bought it from claimed that the cards were mint to near mint. So... I just got the package in, so I'm going to do somewhat of a little unboxing, I guess, mainly to see uh, the quality of the cards and everything, to see if they really are near mint to mint. Let me close this with tape. Try to cut it really quick without hurting the card. He did uh, put these in hard plastic and then soft plastic in there as well, so that was good. These are hard to get out then. There we go. Let's check out the back of the card first. Wow, this looks really good. Some very, very minor edge wear on the back of it. It's uh, Alakazam. The hollow looks really good on it too. Really good. I don't see any scratches. Normally these get some silvering to them. I'm not really seeing any on this one on the outer edges. So wow, this is a very nice card. I'm going to put it in a different sleeve than the one that they gave. Let's see, where did I put my sleeve? Very happy overall with the quality of the first card. Hopefully that uh, is how the rest of the cards will be. These are the sleeves that I like, just so y'all know. I like the Debt Protector Sleeves Ultra Pro. They have this little circle that say Ultra Pro on them. They're pretty thick, which is what I like about them. I might even uh, send this one off to PSA to get it graded. Put that right there. Next up is Blastoise. This is one of the higher dollar cards. Charizard and Blastoise are. Take it off of the sleeve. Let's look at the back first. The back has a little bit more edge where you can see a lot of whitening on the ends. There are the sides and there's a big white mark right there. So that's not as good as the Alakazam at all. Let's see what the front looks like. The front has scratching to it, and there's, I can see quite a bit of silvery. So this card, I would definitely not consider it near mint. And there's like a speck of dirt or something right here. Wow. Very disappointed in this card. I might have to be having a talk with the person I purchased these from. This is one of the highest value cards in the set, and it's it's not what he said it was condition-wise. Definitely not happy with that one. 
and put it in a sleeve. This one is not PSA worthy unless you're a super collector and don't care about how high it would grade. There's a little nick at the top too, I didn't even see that. Okay, well, the next card. Maybe that'll be the only one that was messed up. Chancy, that's the next card. We'll start off with the front first this time. Wow, this one looks really good. You can see a tiny bit of silvering on the outsides. You can see that it gets a little bit shiny in the camera. That's the silvering. But there's no scratches on it. There's some silvering at the bottom too, the very bottom. Let's see what the back looks like. The card is off center. As you can see, there's more of the dark blue on this side than there is on this side. As well as on the top, there's more than on the bottom. There's a little bit of whitening up there. A little nick is what we'll call it. Still a pretty good card. If I ever do a PSA submission, I might send this card. Just since this is the very first Pokemon set that ever came out. Now the big one. Charizard. If he's like the Blastoise, man, I'm going to be disappointed. Come on, Charizard. Come out and play. There's a little bit of a bending to him. That I can see at first glance. He has a little factory mark, that line right through the middle. This actually looks very nice though. I don't see any scratches. Very minor silvering. Okay, so things are looking up. Maybe that Blastoise was the only one that wasn't good. Yeah, the back looks really nice too. I think this one's actually centered well as well. It's got a little bit of a nick right there. But all in all, very good condition card. I'd probably send this one to PSA. Even though it's, I don't know if you can really tell, but it has a little bit of a bend to it. I don't know how much that would uh, reduce the value of it number wise. Clefairy is up next. I'll do the front first again. The 
The first thing I noticed when I pulled this card out is there I can see a lot of silvering, but that it's hard to get around that, even pack fresh ones for these. It looks like there's some scratches on the hollow. I'm pretty sure you can see it right there, I think, all those scratches. I would not consider this a near mint card. Pretty big nick up there. A lot of whitening down here. So there's two cards so far that were not the condition that this eBay seller stated they were. Next up is Gear Dose. We'll start off with the front of the card first again. First glance, I don't see a whole lot of silvering compared to the last card. You can see some silvering right here. The hollow looks very good though. I don't see any scratches on it. Let's check out the bag. Looks like it's centered pretty well. There's a little bit of a bend mark right here. That would probably take off some in PSA. It's just a tiny bit of whitening down there. But overall, I'd say this was a near mint card. So I'm pretty happy about that one. Next up is Hitmon Chain. I remember when I was younger, I pulled quite a few of these. Let's check out the front first. First thing I notice is quite a few scratches on the hollow. And oops. there's some whitening, but not or some silvering, but not too much. It's pretty center, but those scratches really some whitening, but not too much. The scratches on this though is what really hurt it. Looks like there's a little speck right there by my right thumb of something. So again, a card, another card that I would not consider near mint. We'll move on to good old Machamp. It was only printed in first edition from my knowledge. First thing I notice is this little speck right here. I don't know if that's dirt or what. You can see lots of silvering on this end. Don't see too many scratches on here.
good amount of whitening down here. It's decent. I don't know if I'd consider it near mint though. Up next is Magneton. He has quite a few scratches on him. You can really see him right on this lighting. Pretty big speck down here. Oh, there's a big little speck right here. Well, sort of curves upwards. Is not happy with magnetons quality. This eBay here definitely didn't know his grades. Me too is up next. I'm surprised the Charizard card was in such good condition though, compared to these other ones. And the Alakazam was in really good condition. I think the Chansey was in pretty good condition too. And if anyone was wondering, I got the whole set for under $100 on eBay. Mewtwo. A little bit of a speck right there at the top, right? It's maybe some dirt. There's another one right here. A little bit of silvering. The hollow looks good. I don't see any scratches on it. It's definitely off center. It's more to the right than it is to the left. Back looks pretty good. That's decent. I don't know how much these little specks on it will reduce the price, or if I can even get those off somehow without damaging the card further but without those specs I'd consider it near mint move on to Nido King Hmm. Well, I don't think I have anything negative really to say about this one. A little something right here, like a little tiny nick. There's just a tiny bit of silvering on the left side of the car. Now there might be a couple scratches right here. 
Here you can see a little bit of scratches on it. Some lightning. This corner. A little nick right there. All in all, it's pretty good condition. We'll let the seller pass on this one. Next up is Nine Tails. From what I've seen, Nine Tails is one of the hardest cards to grade. I guess we'll see why in a second. It's got some like dirt marks again up there. A little mark right there. Can't really see any scratches on it. It's centered fairly well. Back looks good. Little mark down here. Pretty good quality card. Moving on to Polyrath. It's got another little dirt speck, it looks like. See some silvering. There's even like a little silver spot inside of him. On the left hand side under one of his fists you can probably see it. But otherwise, it looks pretty good. Back looks really good. This one's pretty good quality. I'd say it was near mint. We've got three left. Raichu's up next. I'm just gonna, uh, I got the full set, but I'm probably just gonna do the hollows in this video. I might do another video with the other cards. First glance seems pretty good. Uh, have that normal silvering over here. Scratch wise, it looks pretty good. Centering looks decent. Some whitening down here. All in all, this is a pretty good quality card. I'm happy with this one. Up next is a good old Venusaur. I've been playing Pokemon uh, Blue and I picked I did the unthinkable. I picked uh, Bulbasaur as my starting Pokemon. You might get some hate in the comment section for doing that. First glance looks decent. Uh, has a good amount of silvering on the left hand side which is sadly normal for these. Uh, it's a little nick up here. The foil looks pretty good. I don't see many scratches.
it's centered fairly well. There's a little bit of extra room at the top compared to the bottom. Some whitening over here. There's that nick on the back. It's pretty good quality. I'm happy with this quality for this one. Because then I, again, paid less than $100 for this entire set. Last card is Zapdos. I'm hoping that the last card will be really good condition. First glance, I see a lot of silvering. Um, the foil looks pretty good. I think I see some scratches down here. Some whitening at the top. A little bit of whitening all around it. But all in all, it's pretty good quality. For being, I think, 20 years old or so. Not bad. I'm okay with uh, saying this would be near mint. Really bummed about the Blastoise, though. It was definitely the worst quality of the bunch. Here is a little recap of all the cards. Alkazam, Blastoise, Chansey, Mewtwo, Ninetales, Charizard, Clefairy, Gyarados, Xenoking, Polyrath, Hitmonchan, Machamp, Magneton, Raichu, Venusaur, and Zapdos. Well, that's it for this video, guys. I'll probably be doing a second part to this where I'll go over the rares and the cons and uncommons. Thanks for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Please also follow me on Twitter. My handle is at PokemonFanHere. I have lots more unboxings coming. I still have a Fates Cloud booster box to open. And a lot of other things to open as well. I have the Manaphy Legendary or Mythical Collection box coming. And I have a lot of more uh, code cards I'll be giving away. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.